just like the ending of All I Want Us to Let Go. Um, March 19th, 2020, during the quarantine thing, and I'm working on my song, All I Want Is To Let Go, and this is what I got so far. When I usually write a song, I, um, I'm usually on the guitar, and I'll strum something out, and I'll hum some things to it, but I found that lately it's been really easy for me um, when I make the structure of the music, because the music, for some reason, the music just comes so easy compared to lyrics. And um, I'll make a structure of the song in my studio and I'll kind of map it out. And um, then I'll just sing to it with my iPhone. I'll have the music playing in my studio that I've framed out. And then I'll have my iPhone there and I'll hum out melodies. And this way I can capture it so I don't forget it. Or if I say words, um, I'll remember it on the iPhone. <laughs> Guitar solo. And then it also really works well for me when I've actually written some words and then I can really kind of see how they work with the music that I've written. And that's usually my process. They train you hard to compete, to win and defeat. Slip down upon your brother, look down on one another. You're playing the game when you're doing the same. Feel your breath getting short or keep your head above the water. Scream, you're buried in the money. It's all about the money and the need to control. Even selling your soul. I can't stand to do it. I'll never make it through it because. And I had this riff and the riff just kept on sticking with me. And I knew I needed to do something with it because I had the chorus too. The riff and the chorus were synonymous. And so I just started to try to write something. And I came up with the, the music first, the chords. And I got a melody and all of a sudden I'm writing and I don't even know what I'm writing about. And that's the weird thing about writing. Sometimes you don't even know what you're writing about. These feelings are coming out and you don't even recognize what's going on. And you grab things. So in that, you know, first verse, um, my wife is an ER nurse. And uh, there's a line about put pressure on the wound. And... Um, that was all about, you know, me thinking about what my wife goes through when people are literally bleeding to death in the ER. And there are days you're so exhausted you feel like you're in combat. And I thought of my wife in the ER um, putting pressure on their wounds um, and trying to hold on as long as you can. That's kind of what the song was about. Sometimes I hide on the trail, chasing your tail, trying to attack, shoot you in the back. You want to cover your hand, say in command, put pressure on the wounds and fight as long as you can. Hold on. You know, people backstabbing you, people treating each other horribly, um, and you just want to leave it all. You just want to escape it. You want to go back to the good life and it has nothing to do with money. Hi, this is
This is my 2013 Les Paul Custom. I played all the guitar solos on this guitar and all I want is to let go. It's got this really cool finish at the top. It's an amazing guitar actually. The feel of it is really, really nice. It's got a slim C neck, which is why I bought it in the first place. It's uh, a little bit lighter because it's been chambered. On the receipt for the guitar, uh, the finish date was actually my birthday. And 13 is my lucky number, believe it or not. And uh, it was in 2013 when it was made. So I just felt this guitar is, was meant for me. <laughs> So this is my Donovan J45. The thing I really like about it is it's got a microphone right there and you can just plug it in and it really sounds natural when you put it in your system and record with it. And um, for all I want us to let go, I was able to just plug it in and go right into my system and it sounded really natural, it sounded really good. They only made about a hundred of these and Donovan signed the inside, which is kind of cool. So this is a 2017 George Harrison Tribute Telecaster. I've never really been one for Telecasters. And then they came out with this one, which is chambered. And um, close enough, you know, it doesn't have the exact specs of Harrison, which is fine with me. But it gives the same vibe, and it's a beautiful guitar. And it's a C-neck, which is what I, I use, the thinner C-necks. And I really like it. It's just got gorgeous grain and everything. It's really a lovely guitar. And I use this um, for some nice textures and all I want is to let go. That's what I played in this song when I was a cartoon. <laughs>